If you want to know how you can make your own chat log in Roblox Studio, you're going to have to make sure you watch the video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own chat logs on your Roblox game. You might be wondering, newbie, what is chat logs? So what is chat logs, newbie? Chat logs are a way of kind of like spying on people. And what I mean with that, uh, if someone types in your Roblox chat, you're going to get a Discord notification that someone has typed in your game. And then you can literally just spy on conversations. And it's a pretty cool trick to moderate or if they say some kind of swear word, uh, you're going to see that. And it's just honestly pretty amazing. And a lot of airlines use it, a lot of roleplay games, uh, a lot of, what do we have, more uh, restaurants, cafes. A lot of those games use chat logs to monitor every uh, everyone's activity. And that's exactly what we're going to be recreating. It is just one script. It is really easy to make. And that is exactly what we're going to be making today. So if you do like this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, please give it a dislike. It really helps me out a lot. And make sure to subscribe if you want to. And make sure to hit the notification bell to never miss out on anything I upload. And make sure that you become a member if you want. No refunds. Only become a member if you want. And thank you all so much for 10,000 plus subscribers. And we actually became a Discord partner. Thank you all so much for that. It is honestly amazing. And uh, yeah, it's just honestly amazing. So thank you all so much for that. And now let's go on with the tutorial. So what you have to do, newbie, it is really simple. Create a script in server script service over here and name it server. And that's basically it. And then you're going to have to code it. But before we do that, you need to make a webhook. And on screen right now, you will see how you can create your own webhook. So go to Discord, go to one of the channels. Uh, go to edit channel and then go to integrations and then you'll see a tab with webhooks and then just click on new webhook and then you'll probably get like captain hook or some kind of spider I believe and you can name it whatever you want so I'm just going to do a uh, lol and I'm going to click copy webhook URL and then uh, that's exactly what you're going to have to do for now and that is all you have to copy so make sure that you copy that before we start coding though, make sure that you do this. So I'm going to type the first line out. So I'm going to do local URL is equal to, uh, and then it's speech marks. Let me just, yep, speech marks like that. And then just paste it. Okay, and then go to the front. And I got canary.discord.com because I'm on the beta build, whatever. But you'll probably see discord.com, but replace that. So you, you'll probably see this, right? You'll probably see this discord.com. Okay, nice. So you want to copy discord.com and change it. Let me just zoom in more. You really have to do this. Hooks.hira.io. If you don't do this, Discord and Roblox may terminate your account for login to Discord because that is not allowed. Hooks.hira.io is basically, you can say, kind of like a VPN for webhooks. It's pretty cool. So make sure you do this, and now let's get to the actual coding.
So as you may have seen, that was all of the coding for this tutorial. And now I'm going to be explaining every line, what every line does, because we need to know what every line does. So over, over here, we got the webhook URL that is pretty known. Then we got the player's surface and what that does. And also for HTTP, uh, if the surface is not there yet, we're going to be creating it because we need the services. Yeah. Then we got the local function post message. We use a player and an index and the index is the message. If you're on a team, we're also going to send your team because why not? So as you can see, if you're not on a team, we're going to just set it to a dash because you're not on a team. You can also set it to like nothing or nil, whatever. I'm just going to do nil. And then we got team value. As you can see, team value, player to team that name, which is uh, the team name. Then we got some epic JSON code and we got data. And we, the content is the message, but like another separate message, but we don't need that. We're going to be using an embed. The author of the embed is going to be the player name and the icon. And you can copy this in the description. I already put it in the video. Then we got the description, which is the message itself. The embed color is going to be white because white is cool. Uh, if, for example, if you want red, you can do like FF, uh, like zero, 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 I believe, but you can just search up a uh, color and then hex code behind it. Then we got the fields. So we're going to be sending your user ID, your account age, and your team. And as you can see, the value of these fields is the player, the user ID, player, the account age, and the team you're on. Then we got the footer, which is like at the bottom. And I'm just going to be doing program by newbie YT lol epic tutorial, because why not? And as you can see, then we are going to JSON encode it. So Roblox can send it to Discord or actually post it on the URL. And then uh, we're going to be sending the finalized data, which is the JSON encode. So all of this is going to be encoded, and then the game will send it to Discord. Then we're simply waiting for the player to join. When the player chats, we are going to fire the function to send a chat log, and then we are going to connect it uh, to your player if you join the game, and over here too. This is basically everything. And make sure you go to game settings, Go to uh, security and enable HTTP requests. So do that and then let's click play. So let's test this out. You will see on screen if you will, um, if you'll receive a chat log. So if I talk right now, I'm just gonna type, hello, I am newbie and I am currently, currently making this tutorial. Enter. As you can see on my Discord and on your screen, you can see that the message has been sent by the lol bot because we named it lol. We got the username and the profile icon. We got the message, which is hello, I am newbie and I'm currently making this tutorial. That is 100% correct. We got my user ID, my account age, and the team I'm on, and I am on no team, so it's nil. As you can see at the bottom, it says programmed by newbyyt, lol epic tutorial. This is basically how you make a chat log, but let me demonstrate the team to you. So if I create a team and I call it police. So say you got like a cops and robber game, you know, uh, let me just make it uh, blue. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be on one team. So you'll notice that if I type right now, as you can see, I'm on a police team, as you can see. So if I type hello, you're going to see another screenshot on screen right now. And you'll see that the team is police because that is the team I'm currently on. So if I type something epic, so epic and then spam it. Epic, 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 epic. Okay, yep, enter. As you can see, it does send or not because it's actually, I think the message is too big uh, for Roblox to send. So let me just do it a little bit smaller. And as you can see, that gets sent through. So this is how you make an epic chat log tutorial or... Well, not really tutorial, but this is how you make an epic chat log for your Roblox game. And I really hope this helps you out. If, you, if this video does help you out, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe and do whatever you want. And make sure you become a member if you want to. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.